Um, we did roughly, I don't know, three or four minutes of loping. We did about seven minutes of long trotting, ten minutes of long trotting, something like that. We'll back her up here. There's a little spot. I don't love how that feels. We're going to back a circle to the left. There, her ears are correct. We'll bring her through. And we'll bring her out. So, we got to, everything that we do on our horse is a forward movement other than a backup, which is essentially a trot in reverse. So, that feels so good. So good! But, that rib is out right there. I can feel it. So we'll just make a couple little adjustments. Back her up. And a circle to the left. Circle to the left. you got to keep backing up. Listen, here. We're backing a circle. We're not to making a turnaround yet. Back up there. I want to see the corner of her eye. I want her ears to be square. Good. And so one of the reasons that we want to wait, you know, till the till we've got our horse good and warmed up on these stops and these things, right, is because I want to make sure the synovial fluid in their joints is flowing. So when I back this circle to the left, I'm going to have her, my left leg's back, right leg is forward. I want to make sure that I can just see the corner of her eye. I want proper lateral flexion. Time up with the left front. Ask it to reach. Ask it to go forward. Don't get hard. So their ears are crooked. There's no. There's not going to be a release there. Her ears are crooked again. No release there. There, her ears are straight. I might give her a release for that. And it's just in the last... Two to three years that I've come to a place where I enjoy the minutia. Like, I could ride her around all day and fiddle with just making sure her ears are straight before I turn her around. Um, but, you know, I'm, I've been at this for a long time and I'm finding that the little things are important and that's what matters. And not that the big things don't. But the little things can mean so much and they can control so much that it just feels like it's, it feels very rewarding to me to get these things done. Good girl. That's a good girl. She's breathing pretty good. We'll see if she can just reach for me here. Like it. Let's see if she'll move her hips for me. I'm not doing anything but changing my intent. Her ears are good and level. I like that. I might pet her for that. Good job, sis. And there's nothing stopping you from getting on and doing this first thing with your ride in your ride too, you know. I just didn't. I did some other, worked on some other things. But, you know, I kind of have a, I don't go to my horses on the daily with a task in mind or a goal I want to accomplish with them. I learned a long time ago that you've just got to feel your way through it. And, you know, I might, on her, it might be a little different than on these younger ones. I might say, today we're going to work the pattern. Um, and we're probably going to get it done, right? And the other ones, I might say, we're going to work the pattern. See, she's looking for the answer. Almost there. Um, the younger ones, we say, we're going to work the pattern, or today's Tuesday, so this is the day that I typically school on the pattern. And, um, you know, you might get on them, and it might be like Doodlebug was today, where she was like, mm, I can't even be saddled. I just am having a hard time today, lady, you know. So I try not to get on them with an agenda. I try to take them from where they are that day and, and go with what they tell me that they need. And I get that for a lot of you watching this, you might not know that. So I'm giving you all these things to work on, and I'm, I'm telling you all these little details so that you can get on your horse and you can start 
to make a plan and, and feel better. And it's not that I don't ride without a plan because it's called riding, not sitting. My job is to direct the feet of the horse and to help the feet, the horse know that I have control of their feet. That was good. I'm going to wait, though. You can move your hip. I know you can. But, I mean, I have a plan for the feet. I know where I want to put the feet. I know how I want the feet to move. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I don't come to them and be like, I'm going to work the barrels, and I'm going to do this on the barrels today, and I'm going to do that on the barrels today, and I'm going to whatever. I just get on them, and I write them, and I let them tell me what we're going to do, and I try to just get them better because I'm drilling me. You can you can move that foot. I know you can. There. We'll, we'll count that as a good try. Good girl. I might go back right back to that. I know. Here we are. Two times to one on the right already. Good job, Jen. We'll go back to the left in a minute. I promise. While she gets a chance to catch her air and while this is fresh on her mind, we're just going to go right back to this and say, hey, I just need you to. There you go. Good. That's good girl. Sort my intent. And really, you guys, on the speed control, all we're having the horse do is sort our intent. That's it. Do I intend for you to go fast? Do I intend for you to go slow? Nope. Do I intend for you to go medium speed? You know, all we're doing really is having them sort our intent. And that felt a lot better to me right there than it did when I first got on her. So, you know, we've made progress. This ride was a success. And and honestly, any ride that you get on and off your horse of your own accord is a success because they owe us nothing. They don't owe us a ride on their back, and they certainly don't owe us a ride on their back if we're going to be hags and jerk on them and snatch on them and whip on them. They don't, they don't owe us anything. They have every right to feel like they should defend themselves or not get along with somebody that's going to treat them that way. So any ride that you have on your horse when you get on and off of your own accord as a success. But so is this. This is a success too because she felt better to the left when I, at the end of the ride, the hut's really a nice, that's really nice. She felt better there than she did when I first got on her. So that's the important part.